Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we will speak about electric energy and electric power. Electric appliances generally carry two inscriptions. On this lamp, you read 100 watt to 120 volts. The 220 volt is the rated voltage of the lamp, where the rated voltage is the voltage needed by the lamp to function normally. What about the second inscription? The 100 watt represents the rated power of the lamp, where the rated power is the power consumed by the lamp during normal functioning. Note that watt is the surname of the scientist James Watt, and it is the SI unit of electric power. From these two inscriptions, the rated power and the rated voltage, we can calculate the rated current I using the formula P equal V times I, where P is the rated power, V is the rated voltage, and I is the rated current. To find the current I, we put I in amperes equals the power in watts over V in volts. The rated current is the current passing through the lamp during its normal functioning. But what is the power? The power is the energy per unit time. Let's put that in an equation, power equal energy over time, where power is expressed in watts, the energy in joules, and the time in seconds. Therefore, P equal E over T. Note that watt is equal joule per second. We can find the energy by using the formula energy equal P times T. If the power is in watts and the time is in seconds, the energy will be expressed in watt times seconds or simply joules. However, we usually use electric appliances for hours and we definitely use a lot of them together. So the power will be better expressed in kilowatts than the energy will be expressed in kilowatt hour. Joule is the SI unit of energy, whereas the kilowatt hour is considered the commercial unit of energy. If we want to convert from kilowatt hour to joule or watt second, you multiply by 1000 as 1 kilowatt equals 1000 watts. And you multiply by 3600 because 1 hour equals 3600 seconds. In short, to convert from kilowatt hour to joule, multiply by 36 times 10 power 5 and vice versa. What's the Joule's effect? The transformation of electric energy into heat energy is known as Joule's effect. It's sometimes an advantage, like in radiators, where we aim to have the heat energy. Other times, it's a disadvantage, like in electronics, where this energy is not useful. Finally, let's find the power lost in a resistor using the formula P equal V times I. According to Ohm's law, V equal I R. Inserting I R instead of V in the formula, we get P lost equal R I square, where I is the resistance of the resistor. This is everything for this video. I'll leave you with this quote. Power is the ability to do good things for others.